Howdy everybody, it's Camille. I've got some exciting news here. This little guy is Rocky and I'm going to be working with him for at least the next 30 days. Um, hi buddy. Uh, he is a Mustang from Wyoming. Um, he was adopted in September uh, through Mantle's Wild Ranch adoption program and his owners have been handling him, loving on him, uh, grooming him all the time and now he is ready for some groundwork to get him started under saddle. So um, he is one of my two client horses that I'm working with right now. I'm working with Rocky <laughs> and his brother Charlie. Well they're not actually brothers but um, they're both owned by the same people. And uh, Mustang Charlie, I've been working with for the past 30 days, starting him under saddle, and he's doing fantastic. And now it's time for Rocky to start his training. So today is going to be his very first day working with him, and we're just going to see what he's got. Super excited. Uh, from what I can tell about this guy, he is super curious, super friendly, um, really playful, really energetic. So I'm thinking he'll be a really fun one to work with. Hey buddy, ready to get to work? sending him around the round pin with this flag here. Um, I'm just going to kind of see what he knows. I worked with Mustang Charlie who went through the same groundwork program with Mantle, Ri Mantle Wyoming Ranch that um, Rocky did and Charlie already seemed to know some round pinning work and was already pretty good at it so I'm hoping Rocky will remember that foundation. So we're just going to see what he's got. I'm not going to push him super hard today on the round pinning. So I didn't include that many clips of Rocky doing the round pinning because it wasn't all that exciting and he wasn't in the frame most of the time. But here's just a couple clips of me sending him around. I only trotted him that first day just to keep it stress free and just to see what he knows. If he stopped before I asked him to, I just got him going again with the flag and then I relax once he's moving out of the trot again. Let that be easy and comfortable for him. But he picked up really fast. So when I do want a horse to change directions, I always want them to turn into me. So what you'll see me do is I step in front of his drive line, kind of cut him off, let him turn into me, and then I'll back up to take off the pressure and let him relax and be rewarded for doing that. Then when I want him to get going again, I'll put pressure on the opposite side of his shoulder to get him to turn back to the right. And he doesn't really know what I want here, so I just gradually increase the pressure until he goes, and then I take the pressure off once he does exactly what I want him to do, so that he gets rewarded for doing that. So here he kind of tried to turn back around and decide his own direction. I told him, no, I control where you go. I just put on that pressure to keep him going forwards and then take it off once he's doing what I want him to do. So here was his best stop of the day. He turned in and took several steps towards me. So that's where he ended the session because I really, really like that. So that was really good. I'm going to end the round pinning there probably. Um, I really like the amount of draw he has. Like I said, he's a really friendly guy, um, really personable. So. I really love, look, he's coming over to say hi right now. Hey, buddy. I really love that in a horse. Yeah. Yeah. You're the star of the show, aren't you? 
Now I'm going to halter him and uh, see how comfortable he is with the tools I'm going to use. So I'm going to start with um, this rope here, throwing it around him. I did a little bit of that yesterday when I first got my hands on him, but it was just like three minutes just to get a closer look at him. Um, so I'm going to start throwing this rope all around him. My guess is that he's going to be a little more um, jumpy uh, than I'd want because he's a pretty energetic guy. He seems like a big extrovert, um, lots of energy, so he's probably going to have more of an energetic side than like the lazy standstill side, so we'll see how he goes. standing still which is good so I'm just gonna wait for him to kind of accept this a little bit more that's good that's good yeah you're a curious guy aren't you very good boy he's licking and chewing over here I'm gonna wait for him to process a little bit and then we'll start again so like I said Rocky and his brother Charlie They've been um, handled pretty frequently since they were adopted last year in September, but they haven't really been challenged or pushed outside of their comfort zone. So that's going to be my job. I really like both of them. This guy's a little more of the quarter horse type. I think he definitely has some quarter horse blood in him. Whereas Mustang Charlie's a little more of the draft type. And Mustang Charlie has been super duper fun to work with. Um, he's a really chill dude. that leather tassel popping him. It makes a little bit of a noise. It's not hurting him or anything, but it makes a little bit of a noise. So I'm just going to keep doing that until he realizes it's not so bad. And where I'm standing is very important. I'm standing close to his shoulder so that he can't get me with his back legs. And if he were able to strike out or run forwards, he wouldn't run right over the top of me. So this is pretty much the safest spot to stand right here. Another thing I might begin to teach him in between throwing the rope over him as a way to help him relax is to yield that pull. So once he gives a little bit, I'm going to let go of this pressure.
down this rope. I'll probably do this a few more times on this side and move on to the other side, depending on how he does with this around his legs. He's flinched a few times, but he seems mostly okay with it. Well, he'll get okay with it. I don't think he's going to kick out at it or anything. So the last thing I think I'm going to do with Rocky today is a little desensitizing to me um, because the most important thing you can 
desensitize your horse to is yourself. A lot of domestic horses are already desensitized to people from like the minute they're born. They've had people imprint on them, um, touch them all over, maybe even start introducing halters to them at a very young age. Uh, so a lot of domestics come with that built in. It's something that Mustangs have to learn. So he's cool with me. He knows I'm not going to hurt him, at least more or less, but what's going to happen if I do something like that? I just kind of jump out at him, do something he wasn't expecting. So like I said, he hasn't really been pushed or challenged, so that's going to be my job, at least to kind of act like an idiot around him to help him, you know, feel a little more comfortable around people. So Mustang Rocky is actually doing a lot better at this than Mustang Charlie did. Um, he's only a little bit nervous. He kind of, in his head, knows I'm not going to hurt him. But when I act suddenly, he kind of gets nervous, like, Oh, what are you trying to do to me? But after a little bit of me doing this, you can see he starts to calm down and realize I'm not out to get him. So my camera battery actually died before I could film any sort of recap, but this is about where I ended my session with Mustang Rocky. I always like to end on some sort of desensitizing or something that's hard for them, because if it's the last thing you do before you quit and they get to go back to hang out with their buddies, it kind of becomes something that they look forward to next time. So this was a really good spot to end with Mustang Rocky. I did a little more yielding his pole to pressure, and then we called it a day. So that was a really successful first day with Mustang Rocky. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos of Mustang Rocky.